Hello, my name is Rajat Tayal and I'm a technical marketing engineer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to perform software update on Cisco Mobility Express deployment, which is a wireless controller function embedded on 1800 series 11AC wave to access points. Prior to performing software update, it is important to plan to ensure software update is successful and seamless. Let us take a look at planning. Planning for software update involves a few steps. Step one is to decide on the upgrade path. In this demo, we will upgrade from AirOS 8.1 MR2 release to AirOS 8.1 MR3 release. Step two is to review the release notes for AirOS 8.1 MR3 because we are upgrading to that release. In the release notes, it is a good practice to take a look at the list of resolved and open issues and any caveats with respect to software update. Step three is to download the AP image bundle from cisco.com on the TFTP server. AP image bundle is a zip file and it contains all the individual AP images. Since we are upgrading to A.1 MR3 release, let us download the AP image bundle for A.1 MR3 release from cisco.com. To download, go to cisco.com and the path as shown on the screen. Download the AP image bundle. Step four is to unzip the AP image bundle file, which was downloaded in the previous step. Using any of the unzip utilities, unzip the AP image bundle to get the individual AP images on the TFTP server. Step five is to configure the TFTP parameters on the controller web UI. From the controller web UI, go to management, software update. On the software update page, enter the IP address of the TFTP server and the path to the A.1 MR3 AP images, which were unzipped in the previous step. Click on Save TFTP Parameters button to save these parameters. Lastly, it is a good practice to save the controller configuration prior to performing software update. To save the controller configuration, click on the Save Configuration as shown on the screen. Wait for the confirmation window to show up to ensure that the controller configuration is saved. After we are done with planning, it is time to perform software update. For software update, we have two options. Option one is to click on update now, which will immediately initiate download of images on the APs. After the image download is complete on all the APs, a manual restart has to be performed to facilitate reboot of all the APs. After the reboot, they would run the new image. Option two is to schedule reboot of APs at a later time, perhaps during the maintenance window. For this option, user needs to configure time in the set reboot time field and then click on schedule later. Please note that the schedule later option will also immediately initiate download of AP images, but reboot of APs will happen at the time configured in the set reboot time field. In this demo, we will go with option one, which is to update now followed by a manual restart. Click on the update now to initiate download of A.1 MR3 image on the APs. The master AP, which is running the controller function, will facilitate downloading of AP images from the TFTP server to the individual APs. In order to view the download progress, expand on the pre-image status download. In our network, we have two APs, and you can see on the screen that both APs are downloading the images. Depending on the TFTP server utility you are using, you may be able to view the download progress of the AP images on the TFTP server. After the image download is complete on all the APs, click on the restart button to reboot the access points. After a few minutes, log back into the controller web UI and check the software version to verify that the software has been upgraded. This concludes the software update demo. Thank you for watching.